With the increasing prices of video editing subscriptions, it's hard to find a free, easy-to-use editor with no watermarks. Well, that's where Minitool Movie Maker comes in. With an intuitive interface and rich features, you don't want to miss out. It's also good to be back. But without wasting any time, let's jump right into it. So firstly, you're going to want to head down in the description down below or to moviemaker.minitool.com. And once you're there, click the free download button and once downloaded, complete the setup. The setup process should only take a moment and then you're free to launch the video editor. Once you're in, your layout should look like this. You can import your media here. You got your timeline at the bottom and then you got your preview window right in the middle. They also have a really user-friendly interface with all the effects in the top left, which we're going to go into depth later on, but let's import some media. All right, so we got some footage and we're going to drag it to our timeline down below. Minitool's timeline is pretty interesting as it divides up each clip with the transitions in the middle. So yeah, we're just going to simply drag and drop into the timeline. We can trim up as so. All right, so let's see what we can do with this footage. So once we're here, we can go right into transitions and they have a bunch of new ones. We're going to get one here by simply dragging and dropping once downloaded. And we'll take a look at this. I know it's not bad already. Mama rock me. We'll download this, drag and drop. And they got some pretty unique ones and you can check it out for yourself. Next up, we're going to check out some effects and we got lots of options to choose from here. Once we drag and drop, we can also customize those settings in the top right. Things like their contrast and saturation, even the overall speed of the video, even the overall speed of the video, and of course, the audio settings. We can do an easy fade in of about a few seconds, but just by sliding. We can even make it black and white. There we go, fits me dying. <laughs> and it wouldn't be a video without some text, so let's do that next. So we're gonna head up to text up in the top left. And they already have a bunch of presets waiting for you. Anywhere from lower thirds to straight up title text, captions, and ooh, what is this? All this is good. Once you have the text, you can drag and drop into your timeline and let's customize it. Esna, oh, Esna is back. All right, let's see what this looks like. Perfect, so they even come with their own animations, which is awesome. And we'll get this one right here. We'll also get this one. And yeah, these are entirely customizable. Second to last in the windows up above is motion. What motion basically is, is presetted keyframes that are already made. So we're gonna head to mute this audio real quick. And let's say we wanted our video to zoom into the center. We're just gonna drag and drop into our timeline and we should see. Yeah, it slowly start to zoom in. Same goes if you only wanted the left or right side. You just simply drag and drop and you should see it slowly zoom in to that desired spot. Lastly, we got some elements here and these are entirely mini tools elements that they've preloaded onto their software. So you have all these emojis, but also like certain green screen effects, like the smoke effect right here, which is entirely transparent and removes the background. Just drag and drop and you can customize where we want it. So let's say right here, we're gonna get rid of the black and white just for this, simply just by clicking delete. So I shoot the guy here. So we're gonna add it right here here but like it comes up anyway but once it's on your screen you can completely uh like customize the sizing positioning of it you can change the scale up here the rotation of it let's just keep it straight for now um and of course you can flip it and do all things like that there we go we can get it precisely on just takes a few seconds there you go we're gonna save that and lastly we can't end the video without telling you guys to subscribe so what we're gonna do is go up to the subscribe icon and drag and drop perfect right here we're gonna add it right at the end Perfect. And we're gonna end with the explosive. Explosion, English. Let's make it very big, cause why not? They have so many elements, you can just scroll through the list, anywhere from like pets, food, business, anything that match your type of video or content. I almost overlooked this, but back in media, they have 79 different musics and sound effects already loaded in. You can of course import your own. However, they have a bunch of sound effects ranging for a few seconds to minutes. This one's five minutes, wow. Once our video is completed, we can check it out. Not bad if I do say so myself. And of course, subscribe. Once we're happy with our video, we can go up to export, which is just up here. And here are all the export options. We can upgrade for more features, but if we're happy just to test it out for free, we can do that. I'm gonna change the video to 60 FPS. I'm gonna change the desired export spot. Our format can stay at MP4, but we can choose what format. We can also change the format to any device we want. Let's say for a Galaxy Note or an iPhone. We're gonna go back and make it for PC. And MP4 is just fine. We're gonna name this Mini Tool Gameplay. Just like that, and when we're ready, we can export. Let's go, we're done. Once we export it, it will be in our desired location. There's only a total of 54 megabytes, which is great, and in full HD. I really enjoyed going over this easy to use editor. I feel like it's perfect for beginners or anyone who's just starting to get into content creation. Very user friendly and has a lot of features that are very simple to use. If you did like this video or find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you haven't. Like I said, we're close to 8,000 subscribers, so it would be awesome if we hit that. Anyways, have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.